Here is an information about fertilizer from manures. The source of this information is coming from Integrated Community Food Production, which you can find the link down below. One thing to note is that the amount of manure produced by farm animals are subject to wide variation, being governed by the kind of animal, its age, the amount of food it eats, its activity, and other factors. In other words, uh, not all manure are equal in nutrients that they can produce or give to your plants or to your garden. But before that, what is NPK? So N here stands for nitrogen, which is needed for the growth of your plant. So P stands for phosphorus. It promotes the formation of roots and development of flowers and fruits. And K stands for potassium, which of course helps move water and nutrients around your plants. Potassium is, the, is responsible for the overall health nutrition of your plant. This is percentage for 1 kilogram of manure, so you will have this NPK percentage. So for cow and cattle, it has a balanced component of NPK. So you have here nitrogen 1.5 and P is 1 and K is 0.94. For water buffalo or carabao, so you have here a high source of nitrogen at 1.9 and slightly low P and K. For horses, you have a balance of nitrogen and phosphorus and a slight potassium source. For goats and sheep, um, you have here a well balance um, between these components. For pigs, you have here a high source of nitrogen and a well balance between phosphorus and potassium. For rabbits, it is a good source of nitrogen as well and for phosphorus and just a little of potassium. For chicken, it's a very good source of nitrogen. Um, you can see a high percentage in nitrogen and a well balance between phosphorus and potassium. Chicken is one of the best manure you can find or you can use in your garden. For ducks, not as high as chicken but a good source of also for its manure. For bat, the nitrogen ranges from 1 to 12 and the phosphorus is 2.25 to 16 while um, zero in potassium. 